Welcome to Baxter Bell Yoga. I'm here at the Oakland Yoga Studio once again. Please come check it out the next time you're in town. Uh, don't forget you can order my book, Yoga for Healthy Aging, from my website, baxterbell.com. You can also find the link to order t-shirts there as well. You might want to order up a size or two because they tend to run a little bit small. You can also find longer practices that I have available on the practice channel at the website yogayouonline.com. So today I'd like to share with you something that was inspired by a story that I heard on NPR recently. Actually a friend sent me the link, I read the uh, story online and then I actually watched the uh, broadcast that it came from. And it was talking about the way that often indigenous peoples bend at the waist in order to do work that's pretty demanding in a forward bending position and yet they have very low incidence of low back problems, even though they're bent over in this position quite regularly. In the yoga tradition, of course, we have this history of doing Uttanasana, where we keep the legs straight, bending from the hips and then rounding down toward the floor. And of course, that's interesting because it does round your hips, but it also tends to round the lower back and put a lot of pressure on the structures in the lower back area, which can sometimes get damaged uh, if done too often or repeatedly, or if you're vulnerable in any way. So the story was talking about a way of moving and bending that involved the feet being comfortably apart, maybe even slightly churned out, which is not the way we usually do it in the yoga tradition, but it was interesting to note that. And then imagining that there was a little fig leaf on the pubic bone, kind of velcro there, and hands on the hips, allowing the knees to bend in the direction that your toes are pointing, allowing the hips to begin to round forward and the fig leaf to move back between the legs as you eventually bring your spine almost down to parallel with the floor. So I'm bending my knees enough that I can get my hips to turn enough to keep my spine neutral without rounding in the lower back. And then of course on an inhale, I could come back up. So I've been playing with this in my own practice and in classes, and people are finding this fairly easy to do because we allow the knees to bend, taking the tension out of the hamstrings a little bit, the hips rock forward, the pubic bone moves back in between the legs, and the spine stays fairly neutral as we come forward and down. And then on an inhale, if I went down on an exhale, I would inhale and come all the way up. And I find that if I do that on the exhale going down, bending the knees, tipping the pelvis, keeping the spine neutral, without rounding my back, I can actually touch the floor in front of my feet pretty easily, all right? With straight legs, it depends on the day and how much I've practiced already, that can be challenging. So I'm calling this the fig leaf forward fold. And then I'll give you a little side view of that so you can see how the spine stays pretty neutral. So hands on the hips, feet about hip distance apart, maybe even slightly turned out. I'm going to bend the knees forward a little bit. The hips are going to start to rock. I'm going to bend the knees as much as I need to to keep that pelvis rocking over the, the femur bones, spine staying nice and long. And again, I can bring my fingertips down and then inhale and come back up. Some of my students observe that that forward fold looks a little bit like a sumo wrestler or a lineman for a professional football team. And indeed, that's probably why those athletes choose to bend in that way because it allows them to keep the spine neutral and stable while using the energy of their legs to get down and to come back up again. So the fig leaf forward fold, a new way to think about doing your forward bends, who knows? Maybe someday it will replace Uttanasana as a safer and healthier way for everyone to bend. So try that out in your practice this week. Have some fun with that. Don't forget you can follow me online at baxterbell.com as well as the blog site Yoga for Healthy Aging. Until the next time, thanks for joining me today. Namaste.